What is up YouTube and welcome back to another video. So today, we're going to do a first ever time Q&A. Ooh, ooh. So I asked on my Instagram page, if not following it, links in the description down below. I've asked them to send me some questions, because obviously it's actually the first ever time doing Q&A, even though it's, I've had like, this YouTube channel for like three years now. Which I'm surprised I've never done one. So yeah, I'm going to do one right now. So the first question I've got. So, on my actual picture where I posted, it was like me and my competition. And the first question was, how many layers of fake tan did you actually have? I like actually, I actually had two, but I was told like to have like a pre-tan, so like go to sunbed, but I didn't actually do that. So I had one coat, a brown as hell. I think I actually put a video up if I still have it before my tan and after my tan, and I actually then after have my second coat, so I was brown as hell, brown, like I looked so orange, like an umpoon bite. So if I actually dyed my hair, because I already had the height. Had the colour, all you needed was the hair. Number two, why did I actually start training? So originally when I first started training, I was actually training with my friend and my cousin. I actually was, we was like, okay, like, we was actually training for like a good like two weeks consistent, like two, three weeks. And then after it got to a point where um, they were either both busy or they didn't want to go. And I still wanted to go and I was like, this is going to be so strange because I was like, I don't want to go by myself. It's going to be so strange and so awkward, like it's out of my comfort zone. And one day I actually went by myself and I was like, hmm, it's actually not bad. I actually only went on the cardio machine, I was like scared. But originally I just wanted to like try it because it was something new. Because back then all I was, all I did was actually football and that stuff like that. And I just, there was actually no actual reason. Like I had no got, I know that obviously it was quite skinny back in the days, which I was right there. But a massive difference compared to now. I've been like probably in fitness like four years now. And yeah, there was actually no specific goal why I ever started for like fitness. Why, why I got into it? It was just like because I think all my cousin, my friends, and my cousin was like doing it. And I thought I might as well try out. Obviously, it's something new. It's a new sport. I like. I love doing all types of sports. So that's actually why I did it. So actually, no specific like goals and stuff like. That. I think the main goal is obviously like, to get myself a bit bigger rather than because I used to think back in the days like back then like I used to feel like I was a bit. So this one cracks me up all the time. So there's a there's a story behind this, but I'm not going to go in depth about this, and it's not about me. Um, do you give any passion? Do you give any passion? Mm. No, I do not. Well, I do, hopefully. But yeah, this the story about the background about the story is so so funny. So I so just didn't give no passion. That was it. Do you like avos? Do you avocado do? Do you avocado do? So, funny story. There's loads of things I actually don't like eating. Like for example, avocado. Never actually liked avocado. And ever since obviously me going to fitness and stuff like that and obviously trying to stay in track of my diet and sticking to my numbers, there's loads of foods I don't actually like, for example, peanut butter, asparagus, avocados, there's a lot of foods I don't actually like and I thought one day, well, I just got a point, you know what, there's no point in me moaning about it, I might as well just intake it regardless if I don't like it or not. But yeah, so I actually like avocados now. So best thing what I normally do when it comes to avocados, get the avocado, weigh it as always, put my scale, Put some black peppers on top, then, this is the key, pink Himalayan salt. Like, that makes a massive difference. If you have avocado by itself, it's plain and boring, but if you have them two combinations, amazing. Try and pick what number we're on now. I think it was on question six, I think. Uh, what made you want to compete? So originally, like, because I'm a very dedicated person, very driven, very ambitious. I just wanted a bigger goal and like a bigger challenge. Like when it comes to like fitness and stuff, like I wanted to te like test myself so much. And obviously in the course of like me attempting to compete like two years straight and obviously not able to. Like the first year I wasn't gonna do it. I knew it wasn't big enough. The second time obviously went to hospital and the third time I eventually did it, but no, I just wanted to test my limits and cause I know like I, I always, everything that I do, I want to do, I always think in the future. And I always think of where I w would want to be and what I'd want to achieve. And obviously, I still say this now, if I didn't place, I would have been upset. Completely upset, guaranteed. And yeah, like some people obviously go for like the, um, what's the word, experience. Like people, some people go for experience to see how it is, but no, my, my, my intentions were never just to see how it was. I had a vision, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to test myself, I wanted to put myself in like push my boundaries and like um, so much crap but yeah that's the reason why I did it just to test myself and see how far I can go 
and I don't regret it. I'll do it again and I can't wait to do it again. Why do you get so grumpy when it's a low card day? So on my comp, when I was training my comp, there was only two times I was actually hangry. So it was, I think it was nine days out before my comp. I was like, I remember this was like in Costco, I was with my cousin. And I was just so aggy, I was like so grumpy, I was like, I would not shut up. And my cousin was like, just say, he's like, no! Like, I just kept swearing, and like, leave me alone, I just want food. So I, I was like, I remember I was like on 50 grams of carbs, or like 70 grams of carbs. And I think it was another time when it was like, I think it was like seven days out, or five days out. That was the only two times I was like proper angry. But, it's just because I love carbs, like, me and carbs have an like, amazing relationship. <sighs> Rocky Road. Protein shake. I actually didn't buy that. It was my friend who I told her just pick a random flavor. She did. It's actually that bad. The next one. How long did it take? How long did your tattoo take? It took seven hours. It was painful as hell. Next question. So this cracked me up so bad. What's your favorite position? I've got multiple. So I got doggy style. You on the wall. Your legs are over. Reverse cargo. Helicopter. And the bet my favorite out of all of them. And the last question was How do you stay motivated and dedicated even though you don't feel so great in certain days? I just ran the fuck up. Like there is a lot of days where I just feel like oh, I'm just drained. But I just think that I just looked something for. Hi. Like these are so fun, I've got two actually. Hi. I'm weird. Um, I, I get to a point where I just feel like I'm not like everyone else. Everyone is different, and I just, I just, I know what I want at the end of the day, and I'm gonna do what it takes. I'm gonna be that person who is gonna work ten times harder in the gym, regardless if they're lifting more weights than me. I don't care. I'm not out work because I know what I want, and regardless of my circumstances, if I'm tired or any situation. I'm going to do what it takes to get where I want to be and you've got to have that mindset at the end of the day because if you don't have the right mindset and you don't know what you want then you're not going to choose nothing but also because there is a also there is actually times when I don't even have this my hands up but also there is actually times when I'm actually I actually do enjoy actually listening so for example like it's like days there's most of the times I actually do listen to like motivation videos even actually when I'm in the gym I actually listen to motivation videos just because I actually enjoy listening to them not, it does get me pumped up and excited for the gym, for the gym, and to go to the gym. But realistically, I motivate myself. I'm just a very motivated person, and I've always been dedicated for what things I want the most. So this is why. But I think that was actually end of the video. End of the whole questions. Yep, that is it. So I hope you like the video. Like, subscribe as always. If you want to ask me more questions, it could be anything, it could be fitness related, it could be like nutrition, it could be life so you can have you can know more about me, it could be anything. Anything. Write down in the comments down below, hope you like the video, like, subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next one.